all we really are is squirrels. We're being hunted, we are squirrels. We are appealing, we are squirrels. We want to gather nuts. But people splatter our guts. When they're on a country drive. It isn't easy to survive. Okay. Okay, Shea Bear, where are we at? We're getting ready to go in the woods. We're in Greene County, Ohio. What are we going to do, baby? I'm going to try to kill a furry little animal. Now, why would we do that? Because we're rednecks. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, how many times have you done this? Um, a bunch. How many times has Pooh done this? This is her really her first time. She's been out before years ago, but never really hunted. So this is Pooh Bear's first time. We're gonna teach her how to survive. Okay, baby. Well, we'll see what we can get. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do a little squirrel hunting this morning. And uh, for our viewers, we only shoot what we eat. We don't leave anything lay. So you know, if if something's killed, it will. It's not gonna go to waste. But it will be used. Okay, baby. All right, we'll see you guys later. Uh, later. Okay, YouTube. If you can hear that in the background, stop now. That right there is a squirrel barking. Shea Bear went up ahead of me here and is trying to scare him up a squirrel. Now I've learned a couple things in the woods today with Shea Bear. And he's probably going to get mad if he knows I'm talking this loud, but he's up ahead. So he probably won't know until he listens to this. But um, while hunting for squirrel, you want to look for a couple things. You want to look for a water source. You want to look for um, what he calls cutlings, which are um, ground up pieces of nuts that the squirrels eat and they leave on the ground. They, um, you can see them when you're walking um, on the uh, through the woods here, but um, they're kind of hard to find. You got to look real close. Which is kind of hard to do because you're you're trying to keep your eyes up in the woods and everything as you're squirrel hunting. So it's kind of hard to see them. But um, if you look down on the ground here, you'll see um, nuts. Let me see if I can zoom in on some. See that nut? And there's some other little nuts here on the ground all around me you kind of see those on the ground and you'll start looking for little pieces of the cutlings um, and you'll know you're, you're kind of close to where the squirrels like to be also you can look for um, hollow trees if you look at the bases of them I'm not close to one right now but if I get close to one I'll get a picture of it and I'll add it to the video. Um, but the hollow trees, the squirrels like to live in those, and they call them a den tree. If you see a den tree, if you kind of wait around for a while, you probably see a squirrel come close to those. So that's a good place to look. Also, if you look at the bottoms of the trees and up at the tops of trees, you start noticing patterns. Let me see if I can zoom in on this one tree that's up ahead of me here. See the bark on the tree is dark until you go up. Let me see if I can get it real close here. As you go up the tree, you start noticing different colors on the bark. As you notice that the color changes, a lot of times, that it 
that is from the squirrels running up and down the trees. So that's something also to look for when you're squirrel hunting. This is something I've learned today from Shea Bear, so um, just little odds and end things letting you know today is stuff I'm learning as I'm hunting with him today. Kind of having a good time. I hope he got a squirrel. I heard a, that squirrel barking, which is either warning other squirrels about things, people in the woods and such. So he went up ahead and I heard a gunshot towards that direction, so maybe he'll come back down with a squirrel. I was kind of hoping to get him on camera though with, a, with him shooting the gun, but I don't think I'm going to get that. So um, I'm going to let you go for now, and if he comes down the hill with a big smile and holding a squirrel, I'll get that on camera for you. Just a little tidbits of stuff I'm learning today for the first time, so I thought I'd let you in on them. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, you do. <clears throat> okay, you do. This is Scott Lens. I'm gonna zoom in on it. Okay, Shea Bear. How'd you like your hunting trip? It was good. Seen yeah. Plenty. Nothing we could really get a shot at, though. Saw a deer when we first went in right down there, didn't we? Yes, we did. Saw a doe. Yeah. Yeah. And what'd you see? I saw something big. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going there, but I was referring to what'd you see up there? When he was up there on the hillside. What did you see come flying down? Oh, the grouse. Yeah, you saw rough grouse, didn't you? Yes, I did. And Pooh was like, I said, you sure it was a grouse? She said, it's, it's back feathers was like this. <laughs> yeah, and then we found the feather, huh? Yes, we did. Yeah. But what did you think of it? Would you like it? I had a good time. Yes, I did. Yeah, me too. It was fun. Yes, it was. We just have to find a better set of woods. First time we've ever been here, so... Yeah. I don't know too much about this land, but I mean, there's squirrel all over the place down there. You just, it's so scrappy. Even if you shoot one, you ain't gonna find it. Yeah. But we did have a big one right in front of us, didn't we, baby? Yes, we did. <laughs> you could have stepped on I could have threw a bullet at him, knock him out probably. Yeah. And your little thing, <laughs> something big. <laughs> like, did you ever hear her saying squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> you could have went, squirrel, you're like something big. Well, that could have been a deer. I ain't going to draw up on a deer, you know, unless I'm deer hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, baby. Well, we had a good time, didn't we? Yes, we did. I had a blast. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Pooh Bear and Shea Bear, we're out of here. All right, bye. Squirrels. All we really are is squirrels. We're being hunted, we are squirrels. We are appealing, we are squirrels. We want to gather nuts. But people splatter our guts. When they're on a country drive, it isn't easy to survive. Back in the other day, I saw a squirrel get blown away.